Hello everyone, welcome back again. My name is Jesse and in this wonderful and exciting tutorial, we're trying to see how to use a very nice library called PM2. So PM2 is a process manager that allows you to be able to keep your app running forever. So what is the point of using process manager 2 or PM2? So the basic idea behind using PM2 is that in case you have an app running, right? So let's go back again to my image right you have an app you put your app on your server right something like that maybe it can be a node.js app a flux app or any application and then for you to be able to run the app you just open a terminal then you write in some code then a process is started that runs your app right so that your users and anybody can have access to your app from the cloud right from the internet now in case you close your terminal the process stops and then people cannot have access to your app, right? So the point is that the solution for this is that either you use Tmux, right? In which you keep your terminal open, or you use supervisor, or you use forever JS, right? But the other alternative is to use PM2. So PM2 is going to help replace and fix this particular issue. So let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to go back to my workspace. I have my sample app here. Right, which is a simple flux app and i'm going to run this particular app so i'm going to run it with python 3 app right, it's going to start this particular app i'm going to open this app to copy the link address and then i'll paste it inside my browser right perfect so the app is is running as expected hello flux right as you can see so as the app is running you can see it here but the moment i close this terminal if i close the terminal the app no more runs right if i close the terminal and i refresh it it's going to tell me that the site this site can't be rich right so that is the an issue so in case you have built an app you have put it inside your server and then you close your terminal as i said the app can't be rich right as you can see the app can't be rich the site can't be rich so how do you fix this issue so that is where we use process manager so i'm going to go back again to my terminal open the terminal again and then i'm going to install process manager too so i'm going to make it bigger so they can see so to install, just go to sudo npm install PM2, right? It's a, it's a node package, right? So just go with npm install process manager 2. That is how to install it on your system. So I've already installed it, so I'm not going to that. Perfect. So let's check it out whether it's working. Help. And then now you can see that process manager has been installed on our system. So we can check the status, you can monitor, you can do some very cool stuff. You can start an application, right? You can stop, start, you can trigger something. So let's go back to my workspace. And then you see how to work with it. So I'll go back to my location where the app is, which is my demo app. Perfect, right? So this is where the app is. Right? Now to start with process manager, just go with process manager 2, right? And then let's list the various processes running. So if I check it out, there is no process running. There is no app running, right? Everything is empty. Now to start the app, just go with PM2, then start. Then you give the name of the app, right? Because this is a Python application, right, which, which is Flux, I have to specify the particular interpreter that I want to start this app with. So Python 3. In case it's a Node.js, I don't need this, right? I'll just start it straight away. So that is how to work with it. So PM2 starts the application, right? Then specify the interpreter that you want to use. That is how to work with it. In case you are working with Flux or Streamlit or any app. Perfect. And as you can see, it has started the app and the status of the app is that it is online. So if I go back to my location and I run it, the app is still working, right? Perfect, the app works. So I can close the terminal and the app still works, right? If I refresh it, you can see that the app still works. So that means that with PM2, even if I close the terminal, the app is still running because PM2 is now running the app, right? Behind the scene. So you can see that the app is working, right? Perfect. So what if I want to check it back again? So I can just go back again to my terminal. Let's see how I search into my server and then i'll go back to the location of the app i'll go back again then if i check the this where the app is so i can just go with pm2 right and i'll check the status to see if it's still up if i go with pm2 status you can see that the app is online right perfect it's still running behind the scene because i want to see the various information behind the app i can just go with ls so this is going to show all the processes that are running which is similar to the same thing here so the status is used to check for the particular status of the app you can specify the name the ls to list all the process running in case you have multiple apps running then pm2 i can also check for the logs right so if i go with pm2 logs it's going to show me the logs coming from the app itself so you know that this is a flux app and then it's on the server seven flux app 
with all the various information right if i refresh it again so now it's going to show the logs information here right so that is showing the information that was started very cool so that is something very simple with pm2 i can stop it and the app still runs right the app is still running so in case i want to completely stop the app right i can just go with pm2 then stop so stop then you give the app so this is the app name right the particular app name this particular name here so the moment i go with pm2 stop the app name or the app id the status is stopped if i go back again and i check the app the site can't be reached right very cool so that is how to use pm2 right the site can be reached so i can also restart it again so go back again restart the app right you can restart with the process id right or the name and now the app is going to be started if i go back again refresh now the app is alive right very cool so that is how to use this wonderful exciting library perfect in case i want to completely delete the app so that i can't have access to it i can also do that to pm2 but before you delete it let's monetize so you can also there's also a very nice feature that allows you to monitor the apps apart from the logs right. so we have pm2 logs to see the logs right behind the scene we also have pm2 monet right so pm2 monet is going to spin up a very nice ui inside your terminal that's going to be used to monitor the app so in case you have different configurations you can use this particular pm2 monet to monitor it right so in case you're working in node.js you could have created your own custom metrics or in flash you can create your own custom metrics and you can see that everything is working as expected right so this the application logs and all of these information perfect so let's close it perfect. so pm2 monet is useful to help you monitor your app you can also get more information about the particular app so let's go back again and list all the apps that are running so pm2 ls in case i want to get uh, information about a particular app running I can just go with pm2 right let's say i have multiple apps show then the app name this is the app name right that's going to show me information about the app right so this is everything about it very cool so this is a very nice library you can tell me the name of the app the default the path to the app the different logs it's creating the particular interpreter running it and some very cool stuff very very nice so that is how to work it so let's delete our app so pm2 list in case i want to delete this particular app to completely stop it pm2 stop to stop the app in case i want to remove it completely so that i don't have access to it anymore just go with pm2 delete the name of the app now if i go with that it is no more there and then i can't have access to it right it's totally off from my system so that is how to use process manager too right very cool it's having some very nice cool features in case you want more if you go to the process manager plus right it has some very cool stuff you can also do so you can just check more from the documentation here there's also process manager plus right that gives you some very cool stuff to do so thank you for watching this tutorial and see you so to recap to work with it just go with P pm2 then start mm -hmm then you specify the interpreter right you can do the same thing for streamlit any of these apps see you another time stay blessed and check the links below for some interesting materials to help you master machine learning and then python bye